Welcome to The Late Show. I am your host, Stephen Colbert, and I just want to start off by saying a happy Friday to you all in here and out there. I'm thrilled you could join us here at the Ed Sullivan Theater in New York, New York, the big city of dreams. I just hope you're ready for this weekend because a major winter storm is set to slam the Northeast tomorrow, dropping up to 20 inches of snow, which you won't notice because it's happening outside. <laughs> but Southern Florida saw our winter storm and said, hold my beer and don't touch my meth. Because <laughs> recently, a weather warning was issued for raining reptiles as iguanas start falling from sky in Florida. That's right, from the people who brought you Sharknado, it's Lizard Blizzard. <laughs> What's happening is... <laughs> What's happening is the same weather system up here is causing temperatures in Florida to plummet, and iguanas often sleep in trees during colder weather conditions so they can end up falling from branches when they enter a dormant state and potentially land on unsuspecting passers-by. <laughs> of course they're unsuspecting. <laughs> There's a word for people who walk around and expect to be pummeled by falling iguanas. <laughs> and that word is insane. <laughs> by the way, don't worry too much about the iguanas. As one Florida meteorologist explained, they are not dead. Don't approach. Once the sun is out, they will move. <laughs> so same rules apply to frozen iguanas as applied to grandma in her easy chair. <laughs> Don't touch her, she'll wake up when the sun hits her. <laughs> There's bad news. Grandma! <laughs> also in Florida. Ah, also in Florida. Ooh, there's bad news for anybody heavily invested in number two pencils. The College Board just announced the SAT will go completely digital by 2024. I gotta say, as a person, who took the SAT on paper in the 80s. That makes me feel old. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I mean, uh, that makes me feel antediluvian. <laughs> One rep. <laughs> One representative of the college board said the digital SAT will be easier to take, easier to give, and more relevant. Yes, being relevant is key. It explains this sample question. West Elm Caleb can shoot at least 12 TikToks per hour unless a Karen calls a manager on him. If he were to also spend three hours Twitch streaming a Breath of the Wild speed run, who is Pete Davidson's current girlfriend? <laughs> the answer, the answer. The answer is D, all of the above. <laughs> Fans of sport, and or spangly spandex outfits have something to look forward to because we are just one week away from the opening of the 2022 Olympic Games. And I'll give you all the latest in my gold medal worthy segment, Winter is Coming, the road to the Olympics, brought to you by CBS, the official network of not airing the Olympics. <laughs> We're not doing it. No, refuse. This year, the Olympics are going to be held in uh, Beijing, China, a country with a history of cracking down on basic human rights. In response, the U.S. has already announced that we will not send government officials to the Games. That's too bad. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen really shreds on the halfpipe. <laughs> it's not the only snag for these Olympics. There seems to be some mixed signals on the subject of athletes mixing because Beijing Olympics organizers are making condoms available but athletes are instructed to minimize physical interactions such as hugs, high fives, and handshakes. Wait, they're giving out condoms but saying you can't high five? Come on, that's the best part of having sex. You know, great job, teamwork. What are the athletes supposed to do? At what are they supposed to do? I don't know. What are they supposed to do afterwards? Lay there not high fiving? Fist bump is so impersonal and thumb wrestling just takes too long. <laughs> it's not exactly clear when athletes will get this protection, though. Organizers said, quote, all Olympic-related units will provide appropriate quantities of condoms for free at the appropriate time. <laughs> First of all, let's acknowledge that Olympic-related unit is a pretty good euphemism for penis. <laughs> Secondly, condoms will be provided at the appropriate time? 
Who determines that time? And the condom handoff is complete, and they're moving from the triple lutz to the reverse cowgirl. Can they stick the landing? And they did it. Amazing dismount. Amazing. The rush, even the Russian judge is going to give them a 10. But don't worry about Beijing's uh, famous smog problem, because behind the scenes, the Chinese government is working hard to control the weather. Yes, because weather control machine is something you always associate with the good guys. <laughs> They're also going to hold the opening ceremonies in a remote volcano lair with a performance of synchronized henchmen in a shark moat. <laughs> These weather machines will help fix a small problem for the events held on snow. There's no snow. These games will be the first to use 100% artificial snow. By deploying more than 100 snow generators and 300 snow making guns and 49 million gallons of chemically treated water. Perfect for anyone who's ever peered into the deep blue sloshing contents of a Greyhound toilet and said, I wish I could do sports on that. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that? What is. What is. What is. What is that sound I'm not hearing in my fake earpiece in my deaf ear? That means we've got an update on a recent story when we told you about anti-vax leader and club owner auditioning strippers on Zoom, Chris Key. As we discussed, Key is a popular figure among far-right online communities who has a history of making discredited medical claims, including urging his followers to drink their own urine in order to fight COVID, adding, I drink my own urine. Well, at least he puts his urine where his mouth is. <laughs> now, now the update. Key has decided it's his job to conduct a citizen's arrest of Democratic governors. And to do so, he's going on a cross-country road trip. Okay, everybody, got a rest stop coming up. Anybody need to use the bathroom or get a drink? Because I don't need either. <laughs> but... Thinker. It's a thinker. But the trip gets even. Oh, no. No. Can't applaud urine jokes. Thank you, though. <laughs> the trip gets even dumber because Key claims that despite operating a motor vehicle, he doesn't need a driver's license because, quote, I travel. You only drive if you are committing commerce. Well, I don't know about commerce, but he should definitely be committed somewhere. <laughs> Speaking of quacks, TV charlatan and mysterious widower putting the moves on your rich mom, Dr. Oz. <laughs> the doc is running for the Republican nomination for Senate in Pennsylvania, and he's been trying to drum up GOP support, and it is not going well. In a recent straw poll of state Republican committee members, he received just one vote out of more than 100 cast, and then this weekend, he underperformed expectations again, finishing third in one straw poll and fourth in another. So, the guy who peddled fake weight loss products like green coffee bean extract and hot pepper jelly has finally found the one product so fraudulent even he can't sell it. Him. <laughs> Why? Why? It was a long walk, but a beautiful view. Beautiful view. Why is Dr. Oz losing so badly? Experts say it might have something to do with his tenuous connection to Pennsylvania adding that he was a longtime resident of New Jersey and voted there as recently as 2020. Well, that explains his campaign slogan, Dr. Oz for New Jersey, I mean Pennsylvania. <laughs> Dr. Oz, Dr. Oz, I see your problem and I think I can help with Dr. Stephen T. Colbert's raspberry turmeric ketone miracle pole boost supplement. <laughs> it makes you more likable and electable while reducing belly fat. All for one low payment of, give me all your money. <laughs> now, I will warn you, uh, this is the pill. <laughs> it's big. But Dr. Oz, you can stick it up your ass. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Marley Matten and Station 11 star Mackenzie Davis. And when we come back, meanwhile. <laughs> 